Hey guys, Ryan King here, and I'm the keyboard instructor for WorshipArtistry.com. In today's YouTube lesson, we're going to take a look at the song, Jesus Take All of Me by Brenton Brown. And specifically, we're going to look at the verse. Now, we're only going to look at the verse, so if you want to see the entire lesson, you need to click the link and head over to Worship Artistry, where you can sign up for an account for less than 10 bucks a month, and it's totally worth it. But just in case you want to check out a YouTube video, this is for you. The intro kicks off with the acoustic guitar and then goes into the first verse. Now we're going to lay out the first verse and then come in on the transition to the second verse. Now the second and third verse are identical to one another. Just the second verse you're going to use your pad. The third verse you're going to add in your ballad organ. The fourth verse you're only going to play a D major chord and hold that for about halfway through and then cut off. Both the second and third verse again are identical and they look like this. Oh, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three. Three, four, five, six, two, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, and one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, and off. And it's as easy as that. So all we're doing is D down to A back up to D and then we have those two different G chords. So again, we've got D, we hold it for a bar and then A back up to D, back to A and then here we have G and then up to D. Then hold D and then now up to our alternate G with B, D and G, back to D, A and then D. Now the transition into it, you can come down and play the G down to the F sharp for the G for the D sus down to D. So you play one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six, off. Now you don't have to feel that you have to play that D sus to the D every time. The acoustic guitar is handling that, but if you want to double it with them, you can feel free to do that. Now again, we're going to lay out the first verse. The second verse is just your pad. The third verse is your pad and your organ. And then the fourth verse, you're just going to play that D chord. So you'll play A, D, and F sharp just using your pad. Now you let that sound out for the first two phrases and then you cut off and then you come back in on the transition back into the chorus. Now that transition, all you're doing is the D sus to D and you can use your piano and your pad and it sounds like this. A four, five, six, one, two, three, 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 four, five, six, off. So as you can see, I'm just playing D, coming up to that G, and then back to the F sharp for that D sus to D chord. And so that's the transition coming out of the verses into the chorus, coming out of the chorus back into the verses, as well as coming out of that last uh, fourth verse into the final chorus. So again, all the verses are identical. Make sure you take a look at your sheet music down below, work through the loop video a few times, and let's move on to the next part of the lesson.